Hello, my name is Anthony Brotodo. I'm working in uh, Rennes in France. Um, and today I'm going to show you how you can uh, perform uh, repeat masking on the, on the genome. So this process of repeat masking occurs uh, after assembling a new genome and before uh, performing a full genome annotation of uh, genes. Um, so when you assemble a new genome, uh, you get a FASTA sequence of the genome. Uh, but often these genomes contains a lot of repeated elements that are that can be some very small sequences like uh, tandem repeats of uh, very short sequences like 80, 80, 80 that are repeated one, uh, one after the, uh, the other. Or you can get some uh, interspaced uh, repeat, which are small sequences that are found in multiple places in the, in the sequence. So it can be small one, as for the that are named the signs, short interspaced nuclear elements, or long ones, uh, the lines, which are uh, long interspaced nuclear elements. So these repeats are interesting because they are part of the evolution of the genomes. They can be uh, produced by uh, the presence of transposons in the in the genome or viral insertions, and they can have direct effect on the exp expression of genes. The problem of these repeats is, is that they are um, troubling the software uh, that are used to annotate the genes on the, on the genome. So you often want to, to, to find the exact position of all of these repeats on the genomes and to sort of mask them to the uh, gene annotation uh, software that can be used later on. Um, so in this tutorial, we are going to um, to uh, perform the repeat masking of, on the fungal species, which is Mucor musedo. Um, so this genome was assembled uh, following the tutorial uh, named the fly assembly tutorial in the assembly section. I can show you here. If you go there. It's this one, yeah. So if you follow this tutorial, you will get an assembly of these species. And now, and after that, you can follow the repeat masking tutorial, which is in the genome annotation section, and which is here, masking repeats with repeat masker. So there are multiple programs available to perform repeat masking. Today, we're going to use Repeat Masker. Um, there are other ones like Repeat Modeler or uh, Repet. Um, this software are using different strategies. Um, there are some software that will perform de novo annotation of repeated elements by just comparing, uh, um, comparing different section of the sequence of the genomes to find all the, the subsequence that are repeated somewhere on the genome. And other software like Repeat Masker will use uh, databases of uh, known repeated elements that have already been uh, found in other genomes. Uh, there are two very um, used uh, databases. The first one is RepBase, but it's not free. And another one is DFAM, uh, which is free and that we will use today in this tutorial. So, that's it. We can uh, we can start the tutorial just by uh, following uh, this. So the first step is to get the assembly, so the FASTA file, which is produced by the the fly assembly tutorial, or you can get directly from Zenodo. So we are going to get it from Zenodo. Copy this URL, and then on usegalaxy.eu. So this tutorial should run very should run perfectly on usegalaxy.eu and probably other uh, usegalaxy servers like .org or .org.au. So I'm going to make, create a new history that I will name repeat masking. And I will upload the taste data here. I just paste the URL here and I will name it genome. 
I start and it gets added to the history. Okay, so now that the data set is green, as you can see, it's the FASTA, FASTA sequence. And if you look at it, you will see the whole sequence, uh, which is um, in upper case, as you can notice. Okay, so now the next step is will be to run a repeat masker uh, on this genome. Um, you can launch it by clicking here, or you can find it in the annotation section here. Here it is. So we're using the latest version and we will just select um, the genome sequence. And uh, as I said, repeat masker is using a database. So we are going to use DFAM. Uh, the one which is bundled with repeat masker, it will be enough. And then we have to select a species list, uh, a species in the list displayed just below. And as you can see, there's no uh, mucor uh, mucedo species in this list because it's a general uh, database. So today we are going to use to leave the to leave the default, which is human. In fact, what we will do is not a perfect annotation of uh, repeated elements. It will be very, um, a very uh, light one, which will detect the most common repeats. Um, for in real life, you would want to use a, a species as close as possible to your, to the species you're trying to mask. But for this tutorial, it will be enough um, to mask the most, uh, uh, the most uh, commonly found repeated elements, and it will give good results for annotation in the following tutorial with fun annotate. Okay. Um, and there's an important uh, option that we need to specify here is, do we want to perform soft masking or hard masking? So here we want to perform a soft masking. I execute, but just for just to show you the difference between soft and hard masking, I will uh, launch uh, the same uh, tool just by clicking on this uh, refresh button, which allows to re-execute the same job. But instead of doing uh, soft masking, I will perform hard masking. So now we will get a result for soft masking and hard masking, and we'll compare the two just uh, when it's finished. Okay, now the, the all the data sets are green. It took nearly half an hour to compute uh, this repeat masking on usegalaxy.eu, but it depends on the load of the server as usual. So we are going to take a look at the, the output of our two repeat masking uh, runs. Um, each one has four output data set. The first one is the mask sequence here. So let's have a look. So uh, if you remember well, the first four ones are for the soft masking and the four last ones there are for the hard masking. So for soft masking, if you look at the sequence, that is uh, generated by repeat masker. At first, it looked it looks exactly as um, as in the original FASTA, FASTA file. But if you look closely, there are regions like this that are in a lower case, and there are multiple ones. If you go a bit uh, more uh, down in the file. We'll find other ones. I can find one. Yeah, here you can see another one. That's uh, what we call soft masking because um, the regions that are repeated are just uh, put in lowercase, but are still the you still see the sequence at this position in the file. And other annotation tools that we will use in the fun annotate uh, tutorial or uh, maker tutorial will take into account this information that this sequence. Uh, is repeated uh, in the in the genome sequence. 
okay. So if you look at the same output for hard masking, so data set number six here, you will see that the, the beginning of the sequence is the same, of course, but for all the repeated sequences, instead of having the sequence in lowercase, you, you notice that the whole sequence is replaced by ends, the, the exact same number of ends as uh, the, the length of the repeated sequence. So here you, you get one and you get, of course, other ones uh, in the sequence everywhere there is a repeated uh, section. These are exactly the same regions than in the soft masking. It's just that the, the way it is written in the output FASTA file is different. So for hard masking, you just have to remember that you, you lose information in a genome sequence because if you have an N, an N uh, you don't know which sequence was there even if it was repeated. Often when you want to annotate the genomes to find all the location of the genes, you don't want to, to make um, a hard masking because uh, the software for um, annotation um, often consider that a gene can be found outside repeated elements, but can sometimes overlap uh, repeated elements. So for example, you could have a gene that starts here and continue there. And if you have end in the middle of the gene, it's really a problem because you, you can't guess the real sequence of the gene. If you have a, an, a soft mass sequence, if uh, your annotation uh, tool afterwards uh, detects a gene that starts here and finishes here, you will get a proper protein sequence, even if there is a, a, a little repeated sequence in the middle of the genes. So often you, you perform a soft masking step. Okay, that's the output. And this output can be used in the following uh, fun annotated tutorial or whatever uh, annotation tool. Uh, we can have a look at the three other outputs of repeat masker. The first one is uh, the repeat catalog. So that's just a list of all the repeated elements that were found in the genome with the position and the scores and the, the exact difference between each repeat, uh, uh, repeat region, repeated region. You also have the output log here which is another way of, of uh, telling you exactly where repeated uh, sequences were found with the exact uh, sequence of the repeat, the kind of repeat, because you have a whole classification of repeats. It can be simple repeat, low complexity regions, but you will see a bit later what it can be. And you have the position, the score, and uh, other things like that. And Probably the things that is the most interesting apart from the sequence is the repeat statistics. And there you will see very useful information. First, uh, the, the total length of the genomes that you try to mask, the GC level that you can compute with other tools, which is just useful to know this information. And very uh, important, the number of base of um, masked bases in the genome, the number of bases that were found to be repeated by repeat masker and that were masked either soft or hard mask. So in this case, we have um, 48 uh, million base pair. And on this, in this total, there is only 1 million approximately, which were detected as, as being repeated, which is 2.41% of the genome. And if you look, uh, at the at the at this region in the in the statistic files, that's where you will find the classification of all the repeats that were found. So you can have some short uh, elements, long elements, LTR elements, um, and other kind of uh, of uh, elements. Of course, if you look at this um, classification on the internet, you, on Wikipedia, for example, you will get a lot more information. And at the end, you get a lot of um, satellites repeats and simple repeats and low complexity. And if you look at the percentage, it's uh, what uh, represent the vast majority of repeated elements that were detected. That's probably because we use the human uh, human um, entry from DFAM. 
to to prefer to, rep to perform repeat masking on the genomes. Probably, if we had uh, uh, selected a species closer to um, to our species, we would have uh, more um, repeated elements in in uh, other categories. And these ones are very generic and found in in any genome of the uh, of the world. Okay, so 2.41 percent is quite close, which is okay for an addition later on. Mm, that's it. So if you go back to the tutorial, we've performed this uh, step of repeat masking. There's a question, and we just insert that. We have 2.41 percent of uh, repeat elements. And now we're ready if you, if you want to, to follow on the final data annotation tutorial, which will be in another video. Um, don't forget at the end to uh, look at the feedback form and to give your, your feeling on this tutorial. It will be very useful for us to improve it in the future. Thanks for watching and listening.